Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Pastor Rodney Smiling coming to you again with more instruction from God's Holy Word and your daily drive by. Yeah, listen, um, I want to talk to you all today. I was reading in the Word of God early this morning. I was reading about the scripture says in Genesis, it talks about seed, that God had created plants and herbs with seed in itself. And that seed is meant to reproduce after its kind. When you study um, continually, or, or when you continue to study, you find that when God talked to, to Eve, after Eve and Adam had sinned, God told Satan, he said that um, her seed shall bruise the head of your seed. And so we know that man also has seed to reproduce, to reproduce after its own kind. So I want to talk to you all today because a lot of times when we hear people talking about seed, they're talking about money. Um, but I want to talk to you about seed that what God had said. Seed is something that has purpose. In other words, seed is, is something that is planted and once it is planted, it then over time uh, transforms itself into something that it wasn't formerly. So, for example, a seed, Christ said, a seed must die and then it brings forth or it produces what was the molecular structure uh, planted within by God. And so, I want to share with you that equally so, um, we can take from the fact that being that Satan tries to distort everything God does, that God told Eve, he says, your seed shall bruise the head of Satan's seed. So my friend, Satan has a seed too. So what am I saying this for? Is that in the natural realm, seed is uh, a man's uh, semen or man's, um, uh, what he produces to bear or to create children. But I want to share with you that so many, when it comes to sex and, and particularly um, premarital sex and things like that, so many has decided to um, say that, listen, since kids can not abstain, let's wrap it up with a condom. Um, but let me share this with you. Um, seed is not something that is first natural. No, seed is spiritual. And so although you may can wrap it up um, with uh, a condom to protect against the natural, you cannot wrap up the spirit for the spirit cannot be confined by things. So what am I saying? Is that many women and men, um, your problem is not so much with the seed, the natural seed, but is with the spiritual seed. The spiritual seed that has been planted within you that is now producing instead of fruit and vegetation, it is producing weeds in your life. There's so many people that um, have yet to understand that the scripture says when a man lays down with an immoral woman or a woman that is not his own, he joins with the spirit of a harlot and, and equally so vice versa with the female to the man. You must understand that you are allowing for the seed of that person to enter into your consciousness, to enter into your subconsciousness, your body. This is why the Word of God says that those who um, uh, have sexual sins actually sin against their own body because you are allowing for weeds to be planted in your garden that God ordained to be fruitful. For the scripture says, the Lord says that I know the plans that I have concerning you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to bless you and to give you an expected end. And so you must be careful on how you allow for people to plant into you, not only sexually, but even verbally. 
be careful of people that you allow to speak in your ears. Sometimes there are people around you that are just meant to keep you stagnant and stuck on stupid. Um, there are people that help you make excuses for your situation. And they say, well, girl, you know, I understand that you can't stop crying because he broke your heart. Listen, sooner or later, you got to know that God is greater than all that mess. And if God can save you from the grips of sin, won't he not also save you from the grips of pain? And so you have to guard your garden. The scripture says that when the sower went to sow seed, the wicked one came and sowed tares among the seed. And so you have to be very careful. I don't allow everybody to talk to me. I don't allow for everybody. You got to judge or weigh the spirit or try the spirit by the spirit. And so when you're talking to someone and you feel that heightened sense of shut up, stop talking because you're sharing your seed. You're sharing your life with someone who will not care for your garden. And so it's important to know, don't open your ears to every conversation. Don't allow for everybody, even family members, to say whatever they want to say in your life. Know when to get up and to leave. Know when to hang up the phone. And if they want to keep talking, you know what? Don't even say goodbye. Just hang up. I'm telling you, people of God, sometimes the biggest problem we have in our lives is not the natural seeds that people have planted in us, but it's the spiritual seed that have yet to germinate. That once it germinates, once it takes root, oh my God, it's like a weed. Once that weed takes root into your life, it pops up everywhere. And if you just snatch up the stem, the root system is already laid out and already set to promote damage in your life. And so I want to encourage you today. Ask the Lord to give you holy wisdom to who you should listen to, who you should talk to, um, you know, who is able to plant into your life. Also, remember this, for those of you who have had premarital sex and, and have been out there and doing various things, even if you've been out there in homosexual sins or lesbian sin, sins or bestiality, bestiality or any other sins, rape or or child molestation, whatever sins you've had in your past, I'm here to tell you, you need to ask God to remove every wicked seed that has been planted in you. Every single thing, because there may have been some things that have yet to germinate in your life. And so you don't have residual problems. Ask God to purge you thoroughly. David said, cleanse me of any secret sins. He said, wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Purge me with hyssop. I'm here to tell you that you need to ask God to purge that heart of all the seeds that you have allowed for people to plant into you. Sometimes the seeds of word, <clears throat> people speaking into you. Sometimes it could be the seed of that person being intimate with you. Not only their physical seed, but their spiritual seed has been planted in you. I'm here to tell you, I don't care if you're a man or a woman. Remember, your spirit cannot be protected by a condom. So, clean up. Clean up your mind. Clean up your heart. Clean up your soul daily, daily ask God, Lord, purge me. Lord, wash me. Lord, thoroughly wash me. And he'll do just that for his glory, for your edification, and for his honor. God bless you.